We spend about $1 billion out of our economy every single day of every year to pay for imported oil. Renewable energy can be a strong economic impact in communities by creating jobs and uh, a stable economic base. Instead of manure being considered a waste, I consider it a resource. The forests provide ecosystem services that we take for granted. We've come a long ways in the last five years from approximately 5% of the energy produced in 2004 from renewable sources to today's nearly 11 percent. America's farms, ranches, and forest lands have the capacity and the technology to provide America with multiple services from food to fiber to feed to fuel. When I came back to the farm after military service, we we had, had in this country uh, a real curtailment in the amount of fuel that was available. Uh, we called it an energy crisis at the time. We really had to do a better job with managing our resources. That led us to focus more precisely on the resources that we had, and one of the ones that was a bit of a challenge was the uh, animal waste, and coupled with that were the environmental concerns about spreading on frozen ground. So when I saw that in trade literature that Mason Dixon Farms in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania had been working with University of Pennsylvania and Cornell had a chance to visit their operation and see what they were doing, anaerobic digestion seemed to make a lot of sense in solving some of the problems that I saw facing us. Having grown up in rural Colorado uh, on a wheat farm where we had uh, strip oil wells, I know that a little bit of additional income to a farmer or a rancher can mean the difference between being in business next year or not being in business next year. So when I saw renewable energy, I saw that this was a way to supplement the income for farmers and ranchers and create diversity. Trees grow over 50 to 100 to 150 years. So you really need to think long term when you're managing forests and you also need to manage for sustainability. Sustainability means that the resource can renew itself so that when you harvest a stand of trees, more trees will come back. And the advantage of that renewable resource is that we in the United States can provide that as part of the energy market. Technological changes in the last 20 years is allowing America's farms, ranches, and forest lands to be active participants in contributing to America's energy future. The digester actually helps reduce greenhouse gas emissions that normally would occur if you didn't capture those wastes and put them through the anaerobic digester. This also may be down the road an income opportunity and by using the gas from the digester we can run an internal combustion engine, hook that to a generator and produce electrical power that we can actually sell to the grid. Last month in April the United States Navy flew an F-18 uh, EF Super Hornet supersonic speed on bio-based fuel, camelina-based fuel. That is a demonstration that I think bodes well for the future as we scale up American farming and American agricultural part in meeting our future fuel demands. Renewable energy adds dollars to the local and city economic base that can be used to improve ro roads, improve schools, and improve other services and infrastructure in small communities where they're desperately needed. And American farms can really play a key strategic national security role in producing the kind of biofuel feedstocks that we need to reduce our dependence on fossil fuel, and especially to reduce our dependence on foreign oil. The challenges we face today are just as urgent as they were five years ago. In fact, perhaps even more urgent. Now is the time for everyone to join together to help us discover and expand America's energy future. One of the things that is not disputable for most anybody, and that is we are going to continue to consume larger and larger amounts of electricity with electric cars, improved technology, and the way people are living remotely, telecommuting to work, we're gonna to continue to use more and more energy. So the issue is, is how do we get that on a cost competitive basis to all users in a timely fashion? Efficiency and 
how we use these resources a lot better is going to be increasingly important. We can regain a tremendous amount of uh, moral authority by becoming the world leader in clean energy technology, in renewable fuel production. The goal of 25 by 25 is to get 25% of the total energy consumed in our country from renewable sources like wind, solar, biofuels, biomass by the year 2025. One of the things that could be done to improve our chances of accomplishing that goal would be to broaden the definition for biomass as it exists in current legislation and in particular in future legislation so that more of that small round wood that would come out of the woods anyway can find its way into the renewable fuels industry. Ag and forestry really have a very strong role to play in how we develop our food security, energy security, and how we use our resources much more wisely. Renewable energy can benefit rural communities with a strong grassroots effort to build the community support and understanding so that it is compatible with the other economic interests in the community. I think it's important that all Americans join together in this important campaign of 25 by 25. Please visit our website at 25x25.org to find out how you can become involved and help us achieve our vision. Join us and join 25 by 25. Join us. Join us. Join 25 by 25. Join us.